you are currently using a Softraid RAID 4 or RAID 5 volume with SSD drives like NVMe blades, SATA drives, or U.2 devices, this short video contains important information about changes in Softraid which will increase your volume's reliability. We strongly recommend you watch the rest of this video if you're using either of these RAID levels with SSD drives. NVMe blades can be found in OWC products like our Thunderblades, Excelsior cards, and U2 shuttles. SATA SSDs may be installed in your OWC Thunderbase or Mercury Elite Pro quads. Last year, we discovered that some users were experiencing corrupted files on their RAID 4 and RAID 5 volumes after an NVMe blade or SATA SSD failed and was replaced. We tracked this down to a problem in the way the soft RAID driver handled trim commands. Trim commands are used by Mac OS to tell an SSD when a file system is no longer using blocks on a drive, like when a file is erased and its space in the volume is no longer needed. We fixed this problem in SoftRaid driver version 8.3, which shipped in September 2024 as a part of macOS 15.0. With macOS 13.3 and later, the SoftRaid driver gets automatically installed as part of macOS, so you will get this fixed just by upgrading to macOS 15. You must, however, take one additional step to take advantage of this fix. The rest of this video describes how to make sure your RAID 4 and RAID 5 volumes take advantage of this fix, even if you don't want to upgrade to macOS 15. If you're running macOS 15 or later, you can take advantage of this fix by using the SoftRaid application to validate each of your RAID 4 and RAID 5 volumes. This will regenerate the parity blocks on your volumes so they can recover from a failed or missing drive. To validate a volume, launch the SoftRaid application, select the tile for the volume you want to validate, then select Validate from the Volumes menu. You can validate more than one volume at a time. You will only have to validate your volumes once after you install or upgrade to Mac OS 15. Please do not restart your Mac until all of your volumes have finished validating. If you're running Mac OS 14.7.4 and earlier, we strongly suggest that you upgrade to Mac OS 15. This will allow you to take advantage of the many bug fixes and speed enhancements we have made to the software driver over the past several years. If you do upgrade, please validate your volume after you upgrade to the Mac OS 15. If your workflow prevents you from upgrading, you can change a setting in the SoftRaid application to ensure your RAID 4 and RAID 5 volumes are not affected by this problem. You will be telling the SoftRaid driver to ignore all trim commands. This change may result in a slight and barely noticeable decrease in performance of your volumes, approximately 10%. To change the trim setting for the driver, launch the SoftRaid application and select Settings from the SoftRaid menu. This will display the SoftRaid Preferences window. Select the Disks tab and make sure the Use Trim Commands on SoftRaid Disks is turned off. This setting tells the SoftRaid driver to ignore all trim commands. You can then restart your Mac, launch the SoftRaid application, and open the SoftRaid Preferences window to ensure that this setting remains turned off. Once you have disabled trim, you will need to validate each of your RAID 4 and 5 volumes to regenerate the parity blocks. To validate a volume, launch the SoftRaid application and select the tile for the volume you want to validate. Then select Validate from the Volumes menu. You can validate more than one volume at a time. You will only have to validate your volumes once after you disable trim commands in SoftRaid. Please do not restart your Mac until your volumes have finished validating. These steps work with all versions of SoftRaid from version 5.0 through 8.5. You can validate more than one volume at a time, even if they use the same SSDs. You can even continue to use your volumes while they are validating and don't need to leave the SoftRaid application running. You do, however, need to have the volumes mounted for them to continue validating. When each volume has finished validating, the SoftRaid monitor will tell you that it's done and it will tell you how many blocks have been updated. This number will always be high if you have trim commands enabled, or the first time you validate after disabling trim commands. This is simply a function of how SSDs erase blocks in response to trim commands. This video mentions parity blocks used in RAID 4 and 5 volumes. What are parity blocks, you may ask? Well, parity blocks are the magic in RAID 4 and 5 volumes which allow the volume to recreate file data that is on a drive after the drive fails or is removed. They are calculated using the file data on each of the drives for the volume and stored in a hidden portion of the disks. When a drive fails or is removed, the data from the remaining drives in conjunction with the parity blocks is used to recreate the data on the missing drive. 
Hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.